In this tutorial, I'll review the Mesa Troll manual unit of a 3-axis mill. Start, by navigating to the program page. I already have a program started with the part face to Z0. I'll verify I'm in the right program, and select Program Edit to begin. In the facing operation, I used a vacuum fixture to hold the plate in place. The rest of my cuts will require a bit more clamping, so I need to stop the program, allowing the operator to add the clamps. To tell the operator what to do, I'll add a comment line with a simple note to add clamps to the part. This is easily done, by selecting Other, then Comment, and input the comment. Next, I need a way to stop the machine. For this I have three options. I could use an M code unit, with a single M0 program stop command. But this would just stop the machine with the face mill two and a half inches above the part, at its last cutting point, possibly restricting access to the clamp locations. I could also use TPC in the face mill unit, to position the machine and call the M0. But this is limited in nature, I want more capabilities. Finally, I can use a manual programming unit. I'll use this, since it gives me much more flexibility. A manual program unit, is basically an encapsulated bit of G-code, in a Mazatrol program. As with other Mazatrol units, I have to select a tool. Since I just faced the part, I'll select the same tool used which was my face mill, 3, C. This means there will be no tool change during this positioning cycle. As before, I'll skip priorities for now. A manual unit is comprised of multiple lines of data creating the cycle. The first two boxes are for G-codes. These can be selected from the menu below, or simply entered. You are not restricted to the G-codes shown, pretty much any G-code recognized by the machine can be used. Data groups 1 to 6 are for entering command codes related to the current G-code. For feed rate commands, or for access commands for movements, very much like a true G-code program. The S column, is for spindle speed commands. The M slash B column, is for entering M codes or B indexing codes. Essentially, each line in a Mesa Troll manual unit is equal to a single block in a native G code program. In this first line, I'll add two preparatory G codes. G90, for absolute positioning and G0, for rapid positioning. I'll also add an M5 under the MB column to stop the spindle. To be able to add the required clamps, I'd like the spindle to go all the way up to home, the x-axis to go to the center of its travel, and the y-axis to go home. Starting with the z-axis, I'll enter a G53 for machine coordinate positioning. The axis I want to move in this line is the z, and I want it to go to its machine coordinate of zero. Since G53 is non-modal, it must be entered on any line it's used. On this line, I want the x to go to mid-stroke, which happens to be my X home position in my WPC coordinate. On the same line, I'll send the Y to its home position. In the last line, I'll enter an M0, program stop. The M0 code will stop program execution, stop the coolant and allow the door to be opened. The operator can then get in to add the required clamps. Once the clamps are installed, the operator simply closes the door, and pushes cycle start, to continue the program. I'll add a temporary end unit to the program and go to simulation for a view of what will happen. As you can see, when I run a simulation, the face mill runs, the spindle goes to home and the table positions convenient to the operator for adding the clamps. The Mesa Troll manual unit is a very handy way to manipulate the machine in flexible ways beyond the scope of any of the pre-programmed units. One possible improvement here would be to add a coolant wash cycle before stopping the program. What I did here in this manual unit, could also be done in a native G-code program that could then be called as a sub-program. But, with this simple bit of code, it's much more intuitive to keep it in the same file. I'll delete the temporary end unit. And I'm ready to continue programming my part.